Hello, everyone, and welcome to the 10th episode of Carnival Cruising Podcastaways, the podcast where we talk about anything and everything carnival cruising related. My name is Trevor Shelby, and joining me on this cruising adventure is my good friend, Thomas Kennedy. How you doing, Tom? Hi. Remember me from last week? Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. You back. How you doing? <laughs> so, some said it was it was impossible. Some said that it would never happen. Again. And some said that, you know, hot dogs were sandwiches. That's weird. They, um, they are a sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> but we are on episode 10. How the heck did we get here? What a milestone. It only happens once in and a once, lifetime yeah, for every podcast. In, in, in a series. You know, it's, you know, the episode two only happens once. Yeah, episode, episode three. Episode three ep- only happens once, you yeah. know. Well, you know, episode 10, we got to do something special. Do we got something special lined up today? I think, I think... I th- I think, think something in I the think works? I think I set something up. Um, yeah. What do you got set up? I have set up an interview. Oh my with gosh. Amanda and Josh from Have Luggage Will Travel LLC. There we go. Well, that's let's get to that. Today we have two very special guests on today's show. Uh, not only have these two are these two travel agents, but they are YouTubers and vloggers as well. You can find them under Have Luggage Will Travel. Their social links will be put in the description below. Please welcome Amanda and Josh Barmore to the show. Thank you guys so much for being here today. Yeah, Thanks welcome. for having us. Well, we're, we appreciate it. Now, we're, we're, we're really excited because of the episode that I did by myself, I kind of dealt with uh you know the difference between pvps travel agents and uh like booking, booking by online yourself. by yourself and mm-hmm. everything i i said about travel agents could be dis disbarred right here because <laughs> it was all hearsay yeah we've never used a travel agent before so we really need that perspective okay yeah. well i'm happy to provide you with what information i can awesome so tell us how long you've been in uh, the travel agent business. Um, I am a, you know, I'm on the new side of the travel agent business. Um, I have finished my training and everything. So I want to say going on about, um, yeah, about eight months, eight, nine months. That's more than we Very have. Very cool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We, yeah. We, we kind of put together a business idea of, where we're going to be fishermen and we're going to, we're going to take people out fishing and we're not going to have any in Key West that of course, and we're, we're, we have no experience doing this, but we're going to put, we're gonna... put like 30 years of experience and then a little print. It's going to say doing other things. <laughs> <laughs> Clever. <laughs> yes. Yeah. We, um... That's what I need to do. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Well, we traveled a lot, and kind of mm-hmm. how I got started was uh, we traveled a lot, a lot. I'm thankful to be blessed with a really good corporate job and uh, forced us to travel and take our kids everywhere. And we decided to homeschool our kids because of COVID and stuff. And we were sitting in New Orleans, and we're like, let's start a travel business. I was like, you're at home with the kids. You got some free time. Um, so Not a got- lot of free time. <laughs> yeah. So you have some free time. <laughs> it may be like past midnight and before 5 a.m. But uh, And so, you know, we're sitting around and we just put it together and the have luggage will travel. Uh, if anybody likes old Westerns, um, today's my dad's have, birthday. And it's happy named birthday. After, yeah, <laughs> it's named after the show uh, Have Gun Will Travel. Yeah. That's my favorite old Western for my dad. So Amanda thought of it one night. She's like, let's do have luggage. We'll travel after your favorite Western. And I was like, man, that's pretty awesome. So we, uh, so that's what we ran with. And it's been great ever since. 
That is amazing. I, I actually, I like the the Three Stooges versions of that. So, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a little bit more entertaining than not quite as serious. <laughs> so, what what kind of benefits does it go through? Uh, you know, do you have going with a travel agent as opposed to going with a PVP? Okay, so I've worked with a PVP before. I was a travel agent, um, and they're great, um, but I feel like, um, first of all, you've got to call them and typically you're going to have to leave a message and wait on the phone call back. Um, when you contact me, you're going to get me every mm -hmm. time. Um, first try, you're not going to have to leave a message typically and uh, wait on me to call you back. Um, and, you know, while they're very knowledgeable with Carnival, um, a PVP is only good for Carnival. Yeah. Um, so if you want to um, cruise with Disney or if you want to cruise with Royal or if you want to cruise um, with anybody or take a land vacation I'm a one-stop shop for you um, I just had somebody contact me earlier they want to book five cabins in Tennessee um, I've got somebody leaving Saturday on a carnival cruise so um, you know you get personal service as well um, when you talk to me you know who you're talking to you can see my face um, I'm not some stranger who you call and it doesn't cost you a penny extra to use a uh, travel agent. Do you so, guys get okay. the same deals that we would find with a PVP? We do. We get the same exact deals. Um, and I dare to say sometimes maybe better. Wow. The, one, the one thing um, I liked about it too was with the rate drop, and a lot of people with, if you book by yourself and you don't pay attention and Carnival drops the rate on the room, you may not get the better rate not knowing that somebody could book the room next to you could save a couple hundred bucks because we were on a cruise in October, Carnival Breeze, and our rate dropped almost 200 bucks. And she just happened to be paying attention to that as part of the travel agent part and went and called them and we took it as onboard credit instead of getting the money back. So, yeah, well, yeah. Because our our PVP uh, did that as well. Well, in the beginning, um, of course, my 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 fare is so cheap right now. I don't think I could find another one. You <laughs> yeah. Know, yeah, cheaper. So, uh, but they've done that in the past for us. Our PVP has, and they filled out the paperwork. Um, but what other you know type of services do y'all provide besides you know the the land uh, different types of vacation yeah i can i can actually book any vacation um that your heart could dream up um I like, have, do you do like excursions in different cities and stuff like that oh yeah um i have somebody who's asked me to find them a dude ranch that they wanted to stay at oh that's awesome yeah. Sweet. Yeah. Um, I have books, obviously cruises. Um, which you know, and cruises are my favorite to book because I love to cruise. Um, I have booked cabins in Brooklyn, by Oklahoma. Um, and then I help. I've got uh, his mom and aunt are going to Las Vegas, so I'm booking I'm... Um, show. I of course booked their hotel. Then I will be booking show tickets and different things like that for them as well. Very I'm cool. so sorry for the your your client who's booking a cabin in Broken Bow. I mean, <laughs> what, yeah. yeah, it wasn't my recommendation, but you know, they went and had a good time. So yeah. <laughs> we're uh, more pigeon towards Gatlinburg people, and two with what she was speaking on. Like, so pigeon towards Gatlinburg, we've been seventeen times. Been oh, really? Being at Christmas for in the summer. So when you get people like, she's got a friend going in March yeah. there, we're booking their shows because we've been to every dinner show, we've eaten at every restaurant, and you get a lot more personal, like, true, not trip advisory Google reviews. You get like, okay. hey, this is where we ate at. This is what we like, we didn't like. You know, like, we got a restaurant in Pigeon Forge. We ate at it twice in the ice cream place twice next door to it. We do it every time we go because it's that good. And you don't get trip advisory where, you know, people can finagle reviews around, make it look like, oh, man, we're just exceptional. But you don't realize you got to wait two hours to get your table. Yeah. Yeah. So, so that a lot. my biggest question, and this is something that I actually had a conversation with my wife like a week ago, which is really funny. Um, 
I've never used a travel agent before. And mm -hmm. the thing I love about Carnival is I can look at like I, I booked it for next year, um, mm -hmm. the Jubilee. So the <laughs> he's over there mad. Um, so, so, <laughs> I'm a little salty myself. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> yeah. So the. Uh, he's on the inaugural cruise of the Jubilee. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> what, what Thanksgiving, we, we would be, be all there. there. Yeah. Yeah. The Thanksgiving thing was a hard sell for family members. So that, I mean, it may just yeah. be us going. So if I wanted, say, if I wanted to pick something or I wanted to do something, I knew like a year from now, I want to go to Japan. Mm -hmm. And, um, is there a way that the, the the cool thing with Carnival is I can slowly pay? I do pick a year out. I'm paying fifty yeah. bucks a month. Right. Um, is can you do that with a travel agency? Yeah. So mm -hmm. it depends on. Um, for example, I have a client going to Universal. Um, Universal, when I book through them, they allow me to do payments. Okay. So um, they just call me and say, hey, pay X amount of dollars, just like with Carnival, and I log on, do it, and, you know, we're good. Um, then if I book through Expedia, there's an Expedia, uh, like an agent portal. And um, just like when you book with Expedia, they make you pay the whole thing up front. Right. Well, they make you pay the whole thing up front. So it really depends on what booking platform I use. Most of them, especially for trips, like very extravagant trips, you're going to have the option to make payments. Okay, that's what I was wondering. Okay, yeah. very cool. The um, uh, that that was one question I had. The other one was okay. So say I was gonna try to do a complicated trip. Okay. So something like maybe I'm gonna book a cruise just before I'm booking another cruise, uh -huh. and uh, so I'll need that cruise booked. And he's getting mad at me because he knows I'm actually doing this. And then, <laughs> uh, so I'm doing a back to back almost. You uh -huh. know, I've got like two days in Galveston. Yeah. So now I've got to find a place I'm got to stay. Yeah. Um. So you guys would help with cruise. Everything. Yeah. You would like if I needed a car or like a um, hotel, all that. All stuff. of it. Yeah. Okay. All of, I can do car rentals, flights, hotels, shuttles. shuttle service, cruises. Very cool. Everything. Okay. So yeah, I cool. totally that takes like, a lot of stress out. Yeah, it does. So as a travel agent, I can book your, you know, if you get in a day early, I've got your hotel the day before, I've got your cruise, I've got your hotel between, then I've got your next cruise. If you need a rental car or whatever, you know, I can, I can tend to all that. And uh, so, yeah, now it may not all be booked through one payment because Carnival is not going to let me do that. Right. But, but absolutely can find it all, book it all and tend to it all. And then, you don't have to sit on hold with Carnival and um, anybody else that you may need to call. <laughs> yeah. I for you. <laughs> Very good. Now, like, I know you work with different cruise companies. So could you, like, go, uh, you know, show, like, say, like, Trevor got married on a cruise. Mm -hmm. Okay. So could you sit down with your clients and, like, say, okay, this, cru this cruise company does this amount for, you know, these amenities for your wedding or, mm -hmm. you know, something like that. Can you book the wedding as well or? Yeah. yeah, I can. I can book the wedding and I can actually do um, like group bookings for if you have multiple rooms and if you book enough rooms, it's different on different cruise lines. Um, then the main person who's kind of over the booking usually would end up getting their room for free through the cruise line. That's cool. Yeah. Did you get so, a free room? Uh, I did not get a free room. Because <laughs> you didn't give me a free room. I did not get a free room. <laughs> you didn't say anything about free room whenever I booked that wedding. For <laughs> yeah. <days>. yeah. <laughs> I could be lying right now. <laughs> but so then yeah, again, we don't remember booking, your wedding you, anyway. Yeah. If you have several going, group booking with a travel agent is definitely the way to go. I will. Like, on her end, we have a, book, a cruise booked this summer. And about the group cruise thing, too, is like she's doing all the dining times for y'all all to be the same, finding all the cabins besides instead of y'all saying you're going to book 10 rooms. Well, you have 10 people trying to find a room and you're all trying to communicate. Well, I got a room on deck nine, I'm on deck one, I'm on deck eight in front, middle, back of the boat where she gets it all crammed. Everybody's together close by, same dinner time if you want to, instead of doing any time of dining. And gets everybody lumped together if you want to make reservations for Fahrenheit 555 <laughs> or 
that actually brings right. me to another question. Yeah. Like say, say my uh, same cruise. Um, we weren't linked on the same uh, on the same dinner thing. Mm-hmm. You know, we weren't our, our rooms weren't linked, so the hub app didn't work. We had to add manually mm-hmm. because I forgot to give our PVP. You know, the the mm-hmm. information of you know their booking number could you if someone like booked through a different travel agent or pvp or online themselves could they give you their information and link all their rooms together yes um yeah and you can actually um i have a guy leaving a husband and wife leaving saturday on the cruise he actually called carnival booked his cruise gave me his information i called carnival and transferred it to me so i'm servicing his booking so like if he was going with somebody else, but they didn't book through me, all I had to do was get on the agent website for Carnival, put their information in, and it would link their buying. I just had to have your booking number, basically. Okay. And, if, and if you've seen through right now, the average wait time for Carnival is like three hours right now. Yeah. yeah that's yeah, that's the biggest complaint I see right now. Yeah. It's sh- not that long for travel. Yes. <laughs> so shoot an email, and you have somebody where you're going on about your life, getting through the rigmarole for you to get everything done for you. And that's the big thing is you have an advocate for you that you personally know versus calling a carnival agent where you may or may not ever see them, you know, in, the, in life and you can call somebody to build a relationship, you know. And you're supporting a small business. There you go. <laughs> there, yeah, that, yeah, that is the biggest reason right there. Yeah. yeah, and then our interest, yeah, you're supporting a homeschool mom. <laughs> you're, yeah. you're supporting a cruise addict who wants to go on another cruise. <laughs> <laughs> well, you are going on another cruise. You're well, going to be on this year. <laughs> what oh, oh no i'm only going on one this is this is all messed up this is all messed up well you know so uh, we're going to cruise with you here in a few weeks um yeah. and then in may we're cruising on the mardi gras yay and then we're cruising on um the dream, the dream in july very cool we're trying to figure out what we're oh, going to do oh the dream. dream yeah we're going to figure and then we're trying to figure out what we're going to do for our 20 year anniversary brother go on the panorama out of los angeles i want to go to alaska or go on alaska cruise so we got we're trying to figure out the 20 year anniversary thing too so it'll probably be yeah. on well <laughs> hopefully well maybe alaska or uh australia will be open you can do the the australian cruise i keep getting really good rates in my email for them yeah <laughs> Well, I think they gave up for this year because they moved the pride and the yeah. the what was the other one there that was there was it the the spirit moved the spirit yeah the pride and the spirit yeah yeah so, so I checked out your guys's uh, YouTube page which is fantastic by the way it gave me going over the videos it gives me like cruise fever because <laughs> like you got you got everything set up like day by day yeah and so I'm like oh. I've been there. I want to go back. <laughs> so, <laughs> and so I love it. Um, well, how many cruises have you guys been on? Um, he knows. <laughs> uh, I want to say she's five and I'm four. And the reason we had kids, of course, and mm-hmm. we're doing Tennessee Beach, Disney thing. We, <laughs> we finally take our kids on the first cruise. They love it. They're on fall break before we start homeschool. Things are great. And then Boom, you know what? Here comes the- <laughs> but yeah. Then, Already had like a cruise. One of these cruises we're on, we've had booked during COVID. We just keep bumping it. Mm-hmm. So this will be our kids' second cruise. They're 13 and 11, which if you watch some of the Tennessee uh videos, they're in there um doing some of their own videos. And they'll be on this three cruises with us. Okay, and they'll cool. be doing videos because we're trying to have videos that are from our kids' point of views for families to feel comfortable about cruising or going to Tennessee that may not have ever been they have children and we'll see what kids would do and have fun. That's a wonderful idea. That That is cool. Yeah. Yeah. The, so um, go ahead. Have you, have you been on any other cruises besides Carnival? Nope. No. Um, <laughs> it is um, definitely, you know, a goal. Um, I want to go on some of the Oasis class royal ships. Yeah. Um, but our goal is to, um, you get know, do plat- get to platinum with Carnival. And then we want to work towards diamond with with royal. There you go. So cool. we want to get those are goals. Those, those are, those are <laughs> yeah. You know, I, I I'm after this cruise that we're going on in in March. I'll be two two seven day cruises away from being platinum. 
Uh, see, and there's then, a reason I want to be platinum. They're going to do my laundry. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> I mean, life goals. <laughs> I will be not not, not the engine. priority boarding, not the priority no, boarding. Not the priority boarding. They're gonna do laundry. <laughs> Mom talk here. <laughs> Dirty clothes you gotta bring for the cruise. You know. Uh, my I've got friends who take advantage of that even before they became platinum. It might happen. It very well. <laughs> but you know, in one of the videos, we really got to meet the guy. He has the second most cruises uh, in Carnival history. Oh, and we wow. got to, we talked about it in one of the videos on the breeze. We need got, him. Yeah. <laughs> we, we, he likes to talk. Yeah, we ate <laughs> breakfast with him one morning. It was it was pretty fantastic. I was like, man, this cat, he had been on it since the cruise left in July and had, he said he was due to get off January twenty third for the first time. Yeah, like oh so wow. Was, oh or June July to January twenty third. Yeah, he doesn't get oh, off he's... any longer. He just enjoys the cruise ship you know, almost empty because everybody else is all. Um, so, yeah, he's that, living that, that sounds like one of those guys who, you know, just decided to retire on the ship because it's cheaper yep. to live on the ship. Yeah, yeah. that's pretty and, much what he's done. And his wife was on uh, on the Vista or the Dream when he was on the Breeze. And so he was <laughs> chilling by himself yeah. and she was on the board. I think and that's how had, my wife would want to do it, too. <laughs> <laughs> he had a third most true day in the fall. History. I think he was at 1500 and she oh, wow. was at 12 or 1300 yeah. cruise days. Wow. Wow. Yeah. They oh. should name a boat after them. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> or at least make him the godmother of one. <laughs> right. <laughs> like all of the staff knew him by name. Everybody did. It was pretty, it was pretty wild, actually. Yeah. And we didn't video it because, you know, of talking with him because we didn't want to bait his privacy and stuff. But he, mm -hmm. He's like he shared his story with us, his whole life story actually, and how he got there. And so it was really awesome to get to experience people that have the same crazy life goals we do. <laughs> Which is maybe cruising one all the time. <laughs> yeah, cruising all the time. You know, I really I have that dream. I, I have that dream. <laughs> But the, yeah. but 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 my job says no. <laughs> I can so work from fun. home. <laughs> we'd be like yeah. that girl in, in uh, Key West. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we we met a girl in Key West. Uh, 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 it was shortly after my knee surgery, so I couldn't walk around a lot. So we, met, Trevor and I, sat in a pub and talked to, and this local was like, "Yeah, I'm I, I'm a local here. I I actually own a business in Cleveland." But I run it from here <laughs> because oh, yeah. How's that I love to hear <laughs> online. That's all. That's all. <laughs> yeah. I need to find which that. is where we came up with our fishing business. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, yeah there's a little pub that was right behind Hemingway's. And ah, so, okay. Yeah, it was really nice. I have to listen to y'all's podcast about Key West because we're going there this summer on the Vista eight day cruise for our son. No dream, sorry. Yeah, this is our son's 14th birthday, so we're going to Key West. I'm about to check that out. Key West is very, very nice. It's rent an electric car. Yeah, <laughs> oh, really? it, it's just a it's just a, a, a golf cart. <laughs> uh, my son's like, I want to get off, get key lime pie, get back on the boat. I'm like, ah, no, I'm gonna do a little bit more. Than that. <laughs> They're everywhere, but I recommend yeah. Kermit's. Kermit's. Kermit's is the place to go for key lime pie. And, and yes. It'll make you yeah, want they... it so much that they actually give you the recipe. Yep. Really? really? Yeah. Oh, wow. He'll be here trying to make it in Louisiana. He'll be trying to start his own <laughs> key lime pie business in Louisiana. Yeah. He, uh, uh, he's just very simple-minded, you know? Yeah. So what is y'all's uh, favorite port so far that you've been to? <clears throat> Mine, well, mine easily because she's staying on Grand Cayman. Grand Cayman, Cayman Islands, about far. Yeah, we're really hopeful. I'm sure you are too, Thomas, that we get to go there in a few weeks. I, I, I love Grand Cayman. I almost got you know a uh, crocodile hunted by a, a stingray there. Oh, and wow, <laughs> that's terrifying! What a we, terrible way to put it. <laughs> <laughs> 
Blink well, I mean, I had I had no other way of describing it, you know. Yes. And you were there and didn't I was. see it. <laughs> I did not want to see my right anymore. Yeah, we were on the Carnival Conquest when that happened in the Cayman Islands. We oh, were wow. <laughs> when really? he got speared by the uh, Devil Ray or whatever. It yeah, was. the Stingray. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, we took a we took a snorkeling trip to the the sandbar with the 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 stingrays, and one of them kneecapped me, and I went falling forward. And then <laughs> I didn't realize that they snipped the barbs at that on that sandbar. So I was like, okay, cool, they, I'm, I'm gonna live. They told now, us that, and I don't see how they can guarantee all of those stingrays. It was like we were in the ocean, like. Mm-hmm they freely came and went. I was like, what if a new one just came oh, by? Right. <laughs> I was like, Who's like here the, we took all the barbs out. And I was like, <laughs> yeah. You just want to make me feel better. I know. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. No, my favorite cruise port, you know, it may change. I love the Cayman uh-huh. Islands, but we are doing a Bahamas cruise this summer. So I'm really looking forward to seeing that. So I don't, I, yeah, I'll go with one of your ports Cayman Islands ports. from now. If one of your ports is Freeport, it is uh, Bahamas. Go to Tony Macaroni's Conch Experience. It's a bar and grill that if you just buy a, a soda or something, you have free room of their beach. Oh wow! Without, oh, wow. Yes, yeah, it's, it's right. And the funny thing is, it's right next door to the Pay Beach that that everyone goes to. Oh, how funny! Yeah, you'll and typically brother, get there. Oh, like, like, I'm sorry. Oh no, you're fine. Go ahead. They were telling me, and I can't remember where it's at, but there's a beach that you can take a water taxi to at one of the ports and snorkel like around the Great Barrier, a part of the Great Barrier Reef. So I definitely want to do that. Um, so that's why that may become my favorite place. <laughs> yeah, I'm I'm terrible at snorkeling. So. I'm bo- I'm buoyant. I float. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I I I must have an odd shaped head because. <laughs> Every time I put the goggles on, they fill up with water every single time. <laughs> and like, I've, I already can't swim. And so uh, it uh, it's just a nightmare for me. The first time yeah, I went, I thought I was going to die. So, <laughs> <laughs> Well, I don't know if you've seen it, but I, I did um, snorkel in Cozumel and actually found a squid like just hanging out in the water. And it was really pretty cool. So, yeah. so I'm hoping for some really cool experiences like that coming up. That's awesome. Yeah. So what's yours, Thomas? What's your favorite? Port? My favorite port is Key West, um, just for the sheer fact that I'm still in the United States, so I can still use my cell phone. Um, yeah, true. Yeah. So, but other than that, you know, I really like uh, the 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 feel of Rotan because you don't actually have to leave the duty free area to in, to enjoy a beach mm-hmm. or a, or anything else. I mean, but uh, and the 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 little chairlift thing is really cool. But, yeah, we've not been uh, there yet. Oh, there's a chairlift that goes that they'll take you from the port to the the beach. Yeah, I've seen it. We've just never been there. I've seen it on. The and park. there's a zip line that goes from the mountains <laughs> to the bar on the beach. Yeah, <laughs> sounds fun. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. what is what is like one piece of advice you would give a first time cruiser that's planning their trip? Um, I would say, um, can I give you a few pieces of advice? Yeah, yeah, definitely. <laughs> First of all, um, talk to somebody who's cruised before, ask them what to pack. Um, you know, cause you don't want to get out there and not have what you need. And then there are certain things that you can't take. Um, for example, don't take the wrong power strip, but take a power strip. Um, and then use a, use a travel agent. Um, they're typically going to be very knowledgeable. Um, and they're going to deal with all the back end confusing stuff. Like the other day, I thought I booked something, then I thought I canceled it. And I, anyways, had, it was a big mess. Let me deal with those kind of messes though. Um, you know, and, um, have fun. Yeah. <laughs> and talk to your cell phone provider and make sure you can use your phone. And yes. listen to our podcast. <laughs> Definitely listen to Carnival Cruising Podcast Aways. 100%. And watch the vlogs on Half Like a Jewel Travel. Hello. Yes. Because <laughs> y'all will probably be in the vlogs coming from uh, the March 19th cruise. Well, I think well he, uh, he's not going to be in. I, I will be there. Yeah. Well, we'll just I wish. Be- Thomas can come celebrate my, it's going to be my 42nd birthday. So you come celebrate and have 
some cake on me for my birthday. And yeah, we'll go get it from uh, the fruit place. Like, like the tea, like the lemonade and the ice cream. Uh, yeah, yeah, I told you. I'm, I'm going to take you uh, Anyone who sees me gets a free lemonade and a free ice cream on me on the Lido deck. <laughs> and, and we'll give you some free birthday cake. Um, we'll go get that uh, confetti cheesecake. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> We'll save you an extra slice if we get there. Before you. <laughs> I I think the people who just liked that that update on the, in that group didn't get the joke. I don't think they did either, <laughs> but I got it. <laughs> but so oh, we're shit. we're 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 running a little low on time, and yeah. I do have one very important question I want to ask you guys before we run out. Okay. Um. A hot dog is it a sandwich like we we've had this argument and i i we're gonna not it's buy a it. sandwich is, is it a sandwich is, versus what yeah is, or is it not a sandwich it's okay. a hot dog which has one piece of bread with the hot dog is that a sandwich or well it, it depends not? on if you buy cheap buns because if it if you buy cheap buns they fall apart and then it turns that, two pieces true. of bread and therefore it's a sandwich <laughs> A hot dog is a sandwich. <laughs> Bread, protein, or vegetable condiment full. But, but what if you're me and I eat a hot dog bun without a weenie? No. Oh. That, that, that. <laughs> wow. No weenie. There you go. Do you get I'm the chili and with stuff at least? Do you get the chili and cheese? Yeah, the chili and the cheese, absolutely. There you go. All right. All right. So this is my this is my big question. Favorite guy's burger. Shoot. Blue iguana burrito. <laughs> She's my That's favorite. not a guy's burger. <laughs> she bypassed. Sorry. Oh God, so <laughs> she bypassed the uh, guy's burger with <laughs> She's like not. <laughs> I mean, you know, they're good, but then when you have that burrito it's like give me the burrito i'm not a big mexican food fan so oh see uh, i could eat it every day of my life and be real happy that, that's my wife's first stop is the blue iguana so yeah, mine too. now now blue iguana mixed with guys fries perfect mm -hmm. perfection perfect meal i don't know if i can hang out with y'all then <laughs> I promise you, our son's <laughs> trying to break his record for most Shirley Temples on the cruise. We went, um, fun fact, on the dream when we took him for the first time. He drank 27 Shirley Temples in five days. Five days. Wow. Estimated oh. he probably ate three pounds of cherries. <laughs> yeah, the people, you put more cherries in it? I'm like, our son is like loading up, so he's trying to break his record this cruise. I'm like, Could you find him? Was he just like a, a blur the whole time? You know? Um, yeah, pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see if we can break the record on this cruise. Uh, That's please. great. He's got a seven day cruise this time, so he should be good. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> Well, thank you all for, for joining us. This has been a very educational uh, for me because it did put a lot of things that I said on my podcast. You know, it, it, it proved what I said I didn't know. So. <laughs> exactly. Well, I'm glad that I could, um, you know, explain better what a travel agent does. And like I said, it doesn't cost you any extra. Um, yeah. Carnival actually pays me out of your fare. Um, so it's, you know, worth using a travel agent. Cause like I said, you're helping support a small business. And in my case, a stay at home mom who homeschools her kids and just trying to make a little extra spending money on the side. I think I want to be a travel agent. <laughs> 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 Are you going to be a stay at home mom who homeschools her kid? I'm not a, a stay at home <laughs> mom. <laughs> yeah. I have no kids, but you know, I, I just, <laughs> Just to, the ability to travel and no, stuff. it's it really is fun. It's a blast, and you get travel agent rates. Um, so I get actually cheaper rooms being a travel agent. There you go. Yeah, and a good thing, like so, real quick with Disney. So once a year, we get a Disney trip for like half off. So whether it's the cruise or the park, so you just think of like half off at Disney. That pays for like seven cruises. You know, <laughs> <laughs> I mean. <laughs> And I mean, so it's it's got its perks to it. It's a lot of work, but it's got its perks to it too, you know. 
um, to just try to grow your business and get you more involved. So they throw a lot. Awesome. The uh, if I wanted to find you guys on social media, uh, where would I go? So we're on YouTube at Have Luggage Will Travel. No spaces, no punctuation. We're on Facebook at Have Luggage dot Will Travel dot LLC. Okay. And we are on Instagram at Have Luggage underscore Will Travel. So it's all Have Luggage Will Travel. Yes, yeah. it is. And I do have a, a dedicated email for my business, and I will shoot you an email with that if you want to include that. That'd be yeah, yeah. Fantastic. We'll we'll put that in the description and everything. So. Very good deal. Thank you guys so much for joining us. Oh, no. It's been a pleasure. I feel like, you know, we could have y'all back at some point because yeah. I feel like we've got lots more we can talk about. Oh, absolutely. Oh, yeah. We would love mm -hmm. to join you guys again. Y'all are a blast. Oh, oh, yeah. You celebrate my birthday with me, bro. Oh, I, yeah. what day on the cruise is that? Uh, it's the day we leave, March 19th. Uh, March 19th. Okay. Yeah. All right. And I'm the I'll easiest you, guy. Uh, I'll, I'll buy you a Shirley Temple for your son. There you go. <laughs> hey, I, He's just going to start on the cruise ship. So if you haven't watched any of the cruise videos, I'm six seven, so you'll see the big tall ball dude ducking all the exit signs. Okay. <laughs> okay. Well, I, I don't look. Uh, I look taller than I am. I, I'm five foot four and look like a bowling ball. So. <laughs> he's the one who will um, knock all the trees down when you're walking. Oh yeah, I got the fight. <laughs> I got in the fight with a light fixture in the tree on the breeze in October. <laughs> <laughs> is that yeah, the tree that you that, that we fell out of on your wedding day? Might have been. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't remember. <laughs> I don't either. I remember oh. security security looking at me weird when I was looking for a muster station. Yeah. <laughs> so because oh. it was C4. <laughs> 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 all right guys you have a good day thank you so much for joining us thanks thank guys y'all too i will see you in a couple weeks all right yes, sir. thank y'all bye bye well thanks again for amanda and josh have luggage will travel uh thank you guys for joining us it was so fun having you on the show i definitely hope you guys agree to come back even even after all those horrible things that tom said i said nothing <laughs> i'm cruising with them you aren't yeah. yeah well just know that i'm giving tom 20 dollars so he could buy them drinks so if he says he never got the 20 dollars from me that's that's a lie make him buy you some drinks we, we're going to start something new here. Uh, we're going to start answering a couple questions, some some stuff we sourced off of Facebook and uh, some stuff that was posed to us or maybe not. <laughs> so I misunderstood the assignment. Yeah. So we're going to be answering some questions. It's, it's going to be a lot of fun. And if you guys want to participate in this in the future, definitely check us out on our Facebook page over at Facebook and search for Carnival Cruising Podcastaways. Uh, when you see the group, join that, and you can ask us whatever you want, and we will read your question more than likely. So the first question we have today is from Kristen, and she wants to know, can you still carry on a bottle of wine? And if so, is it still two bottles per person? And that is a, a yes and a no. It's a one bottle per person, yes. 750 milliliters, and you have to carry it on. It cannot go in your luggage. Yeah, don't stick it in your luggage. You'll get a you'll get a nice little note in your luggage saying that in your check luggage saying that you've uh, uh, you've tried to bring on contraband. Yeah, there, there's someone on 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 this show Who? who's whose initials are ts that, that that's happened to oh my uh, god yeah trevor shelby oh yeah okay so yeah that's happened to me so <laughs> but the note isn't so nice and it's uh <laughs> it's better than you might get called over the intercom and <laughs> that's even worse so yeah. Yeah, that's happened to other people. So, yes, that's that is the the answer there. Uh yes and no. You can bring it, just don't 
Okay, you did one bottle, 750 milliliters. The other question that I have here is from Kathy. And Kathy wants to know, does Carnival have a private island? Why, yes, they do. Yeah. Would you like to answer, uh, tell them the name of that island? Yes, I would love to, because I will be going there in June. That's Half the reason why I K. said can't wait to be there it is a part of the bahamas and it is carnival's own resort island and it is so nice now my wife if she was on this show she would be arguing the opposite but i actually love it there from what i can remember it was amazing uh, you can't remember hardly any of the i know most like of the time. have i cruised so <laughs> There's pictures where <laughs> I know. we're at Sancho's and you're like, we took a picture together? Yeah, yeah. Uh, Megan has one photo, uh, supposedly, that we both don't remember. So, yeah. Uh, well, I, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. No. Yeah. So anyways, the that island, of course, you can use your sign and sell card on the island, which is kind of cool. The prices for alcoholic beverages and all that is a little high and i i may be wrong on this but i do not think if you have the cheers package i do not think it works on the island i've actually seen a lot of people saying yeah it does not work yes uh. so i didn't have the cheers package that round it didn't really bother me i was getting uh some buckets of beer and yeah it was a little costly but it was nice and we had fun um supposedly uh i tried to go on a walk there's like a real long walk down a um it's like a nature trail and it goes from like one side of the island to the other it's a pretty good walk. If you're into that kind of thing, just make sure you wear appropriate beach shoes. Do not wear flip flops as you're going to try to go on this walk because it is it is like beach sand, very nice beach sand, and your feet will just sink into it. And if you got flip flops on, those will get really annoying really quick. <laughs> That's what I had on. So, well, at least it's you know a nature hike and not a 5k like disney has yeah i mean you're on a cruise and disney wants you to do a 5k well you know that'd be interesting i you know if it was 5k pounds of food i could make no it. this is running or walking <laughs> I know. Ugh, gross <laughs> so we have a I, so i do believe that we have a question for the viewers if they'd like to go onto our Facebook page and uh, answer this for us. Yeah. Um, so if you've been on a cruise, what is your fondest memory of that cruise? I can I guess yours? I think it's no. going to involve a mermaid. No. <laughs> we'll save that story for another time. We, we've been telling that them that for weeks they're going to start rioting yes <laughs> but yes uh what is your fondest memory on a cruise if you've ever been on a cruise it doesn't matter if it's carnivals you know celebrity um you know royal i i don't care it's just if you've been on a cruise and you have a great memory of it it's that memory right there on facebook perfect 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 well, definitely go to our Facebook page. Like I said before, just search for us on Facebook, Carnival Cruising Podcastaways. You'll see the actual like page, and then you'll see a group. Join both. They're both a lot of fun. We have updates on when our episodes come out. We have little snippets of different things. You might actually see our faces, and I, we don't show them often because we're so handsome, but if if uh you know if the, the and, masses and if, demand it and just like i just said in the in, in the cruise group you know i'll say this here anyone going on the vista on the 19th of march if you see me on the the lido deck the first person who sees me on the lido deck i will buy you a lemonade and an ice cream cone oh my gosh you are so nice 
I know, I know, right there on the Lido deck. A deluxe lemonade. All right, well, thank you guys for joining us. <laughs> whoa, whoa, I said Lido. I said <laughs> okay. Lido. Okay, well, thank you guys for joining us. We will see you again next week. And just remember, everything that happens on the ship stays on YouTube. Bye. See ya. <laughs> Perfect. Perfect.